Suppose you guess that a jar has 120 gumballs, but it actually has 300. What is your percent error? Well, to find the percent error, we have to figure out how far off we were in guessing this. And that, by the way, is a very horrible guess. And we'll find that in the percent as well. So if there were, if there were actually 300 gumballs, but we guessed this 120 right here, then how far off were we? 180 gumballs is how far off we were. Now, hopefully you guys remember this. Maybe you've written it on a homework assignment. But to find the percent error, we divide this by the actual amount, which it tells us it was actually 300. So that's my denominator right here. When I divide this on my calculator, I get 0 0.60. 0, 0, 0. Those go on forever, so I'm actually not going to worry about those. So to change this decimal into a percent, we'll have to multiply it by 100. And that would give us 60%. And this was percent error.